Welcome in to a new week on the Fun Astrology Podcast. Thomas Miller, thanks for stopping in here. I've got uh, something cool to tell you about the eclipse on Friday. Oh, this was so neat. I went to bed early enough that I just thought, you know, if uh, my soul wants to get up, it will. And if it wants to sleep, it'll sleep. And I got up. (laughs) I got up in plenty of time, let's put it that way. It was cold outside, so I was watching it on, on YouTube, actually, for a little bit. Then I put the down coat on and went out with the binoculars and took a look, and it was just spectacularly gorgeous, not a cloud in the sky. And then I went back in and then came back out and sat on the front porch as the uh, moment arrived of the full moon and then a few minutes later, the peak of the eclipse. And I could just sit in, there's a rocking chair on the front porch, and I, yes, I'm one of those. It was already here. (laughs) And I could look directly west, and there it was, just right there. I didn't have to even move. Perfect framing. So I was sitting there and had turned all the lights out, and it was dark. And I was just reflecting. And out of the periphery of my eye to the right was the moon. And all of a sudden, at two minutes before the full moon, so at 3.55, A shooting star came down right from the moon. I mean, as though the moon had just thrown it down to my left, it cascaded down through the sky. Now, I did see that there was a meteor shower associated with it, and maybe that was one of those. But I'll tell you what, I, my little eye got tears in it, and I went inside after the peak had happened, and it, you know, sat there with that moment. And then I journaled for probably two hours Because, look, I figured the universe had just dropped me a blank check. I went in and filled it out. (laughs) What else do you do? Well, I hope you had a really good eclipse day or whatever happened around it. There has been a lot of energy around this eclipse. You know, for a guy that was kind of saying before, I don't know about these eclipses. Ah, like this one has changed my tune. This thing had some juice to it. Uh, How many of you had electrical or computer kind of issues? It almost like it had this Mercury retrograde-ness to it. I'm not just speaking for myself. I've heard it from quite a few others. Well, the other thing is, have you ever felt like the juggler? You know, like stuff is just, things are coming at you so fast that all you have time to do is just deflect them. You know, boing, 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 boing. That's how I've felt for the last several weeks. And what I'm trying to do is I, I am pushing myself hard because I've got, I had two audiobooks, got one done over the weekend, And I want to get them finished so that I can go see my granddaughter in Texas. And I want to do a really good job on these. And I'm narrating this. Now I'm down to the Steve Forrest book and, oh, just get engrossed in this thing. Well, there's an aspect that I missed. And I'm going to fess up because with this eclipse, we also had a moon wobble. And this is one of those things that you're so focused on X that you forget to see Y and Y is sitting right next door. So the moon wobble, the terminology of the moon wobble is when the moon either conjuncts or squares the nodes of the moon, the nodal axis. Well, tomorrow is the exact conjunction. The sun, as of yesterday, now in Sagittarius, conjoins the north node of the moon at 2.03 tomorrow Eastern time. That is the peak of a moon wobble right there. And because no software programs acknowledge it, so nobody backs it up. You back it up 21 days from the exact conjunction, and then it wanes for another seven days after the conjunction. So it will be with us all this week. And for the last three weeks, we've been in it, building up. So if you combine that energy, which is, you know, it's kind of like a Mercury retrograde on steroids kind of thing. And the idea behind it is that weird stuff happens around the world. Well, if you go back, I was kind of thinking about a lot of the things that have happened even just over the last 10 days or so. Uh, Not going political here, but I'm just pointing out a few things that have happened. We've had the Austrian lockdown the spread of COVID basically in Europe. I am seeing a lot of unrest in various places around the world. We had on, was it Friday, I believe, the uh, jury made the decision in that uh, Wisconsin case. 
like I said, this is we you know we we don't go into a lot of that here, but those are things that did happen under the moon wobble that I think a lot of people on one side or the other or maybe both it brings consternation. There certainly is a lot of unrest and when we looked at the aspects that this eclipse included, we had that square with Jupiter, we have the trine with Pluto, Jamie Partridge over at Astrology King mentioned the conjunction with Algol. Of course, the sun was in Scorpio, so it was casting a scorpionic shadow on the Taurian moon and throw a moon wobble on that mix. So again, with this eclipse, I think the thing for us to do now is just observe. Let's see what shows up. Let's observe rather than opine. And that's really a great transition because it's Sagittarius season and Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter and Jupiter is the happy planet and Sagittarius is the happy sign. You want to find the party? Go find the Sagges. They're all grouped up together. And boy, do we need our Sagittarian family in the world today, do we not? Especially with all that stuff. So let's have a party. We'll talk about Sag through the week We will talk more about that conjunction tomorrow. We've got several things. We'll get to your questions. If you have one, shoot it to me on the speak pipe at the top of the website. Yes, I'm having trouble with the website, and I know, and it has been consuming. It's moon wobble stuff. See, I'm going to blame it on the moon wobble because I don't have anything else to blame it on, but put it there, all right? (laughs) That's That's what we're going to do. You guys have a great day. I love you. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you back here tomorrow.